welcome. Welcome to the North Rose Wolka Board of Education meeting tonight. Uh, we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. A motion, please, to approve tonight's agenda. John and Shelley, any discussion? All in favor of approving tonight's agenda. The motion is carried. At this time, I would like to request that we uh, move into a short executive session uh, for the purpose of uh, discussing the employment history of a specific employee. A motion, please. Uh, Linda and Jason, um, any discussion? All in favor of approving executive session? A motion is carried. Uh, to all of you out there, we'll be going into, we're, we'll be leaving uh, to go into another room and then we will be returning. And if I, I can't promise you the number of minutes, but it won't be too long. Session now, uh, returning to the agenda, uh, number three, reports and correspondence. Uh, you'll see that the, uh, the policy committee is recommending a first read. Uh, Paul, you're talking to us from where? Where are you located right now? Yes, I'm in the Philippine Islands this morning. I'm in the Island of Luzon. You're in the Philippines, uh, and it's morning there. It's morning there? Um, is there anything you want to tell the board about the policy committee's uh, recommendation for a first read? Yes, I, I, I can't. I'm inhibited from looking at the, the, the agenda at the same time. But uh, just very briefly, uh, policy 5573, I just want the board to know that uh, technically, the committee hasn't uh, ordered that to the board. That had been that had a good policy in 1410, and I haven't seen any reason the board can't vote out that way. We were going to vote, we were going to have a committee meeting on that yesterday. We weren't able to do that. So as long as, as, long as uh, Shelly and Tina agree, I think we can just leave it on the uh, board for a first read. Right. Everything else is as it's listed. All right, good. That's okay with you then, Shelly and Tina, to leave that on? Mm -hmm. First read. Okay, good. Well, that gives the board time before the next reading to, to uh, read those and if they have any questions to get back to you. Thank you. Um, and I see that you have reviewed number 5571 with no changes. So thank you for reviewing that and letting us know. We move on now to public access. Uh, to the board, and I have a sheet here, and I have uh, Aaron Warren, Warren, Warren to uh, speak to us. Would that be correct? Come right here. Yes, Aaron, I'm obligated to uh, give this little spiel to all speakers. Um, there you know there is a three minute uh, time limit. Um, and of course, speakers, uh, must live in our district in order to address the board. Um, we ask that you use no specific names um, and when you're speaking. Positive light? Pardon me? Even in a positive light? Um, no, it goes both ways, unfortunately. Um, you certainly can uh, talk in generalities. Um, but if you want to speak, if you want to speak about a particular person, um, we ask you need to write us that. Um, okay. Uh, 
you need to write that uh, to us. It's a way of protecting everyone, including, okay. including the speaker. Um, and so can I say also, a position? We also mm -hmm. we want you to understand that uh, the board listens, but the board does not respond at this time. Okay? So um, if you would identify yourself and uh, tell us what you're going to speak about. You have three minutes. Okay, I will speak quickly. My name is Erin Monick. I'm going to be speaking about the middle school musical and in general the district. Making it so that good people can do good things in the district. Okay. Uh, so thank you for letting me speak. Uh, thank you to all of you for volunteering to be members of our board. I know it is a difficult and thankless job, but please know that there are many of us who appreciate what you do. So I've lived in the district for 22 years. My husband and I have four children. One is graduated, one is a senior, one is a sophomore, and one is a seventh grader. We care very deeply about this district, and we want to help make it even better than it already is. A few years ago, North Rose, North Rose Wilkett hired a middle school music teacher. Is that okay? I don't know if you've watched any of the middle school concerts, but there was a drastic improvement in their performances. This teacher is experienced, passionate, dedicated. She loves the students, and she wants them to be the best musicians they can be and the best people that they can be. She knows what she is doing. She's exactly the type of teacher that we want at this district, and we should be doing everything we can to keep teachers like this happy so that they stay. This teacher and another teacher are another dedicated and passionate teacher, work together to bring us the middle school musicals. And they do a fabulous job. I don't know if you saw Andy last year, but they put together a great performance. And this year, I think they will also put together a great performance of Finding Nemo. So last year, a lot of time and money was put into building a set that could be used for future performances, that could be taken apart and used for future performances. I'm not pointing fingers, I'm not blaming anybody, but somehow that set got thrown out. Okay, so all the time and effort that put, was put in was lost. They are understandably frustrated, and they need our help. So I have four specific things that the community, the board, the district can do to help. First of all, we can start, find storage for next year and communicate with the musical directors if anything needs to be moved. If there's no space at the district, we can reach out to others in the community, like perhaps Mike Burtz at uh, Florent the old Florent Florentine Hendrick building. Number two, other school districts are performing or have performed NEMO. Um, and if anyone, spe specifically Wayne Central is one, if anyone has a strong connection, and Megan has already volunteered to reach out um, to see if we can borrow set pieces from them. Number three, this is to you guys, um, as it gets closer to the musical, it's very important that they have time on stage. And every time there's a board meeting, granted there aren't a lot, it's difficult for them to take everything down. So if possible, if you guys could find, during the musical season, another location, um, that would be helpful to them. Number four, and most importantly, let the musical directors and volunteers do their job. Do not put up roadblocks. Make it easy for them to come into the school and build sets. I understand safety is a concern, but we have buildings open. The high school is open all the time. This building is wide open all the time. Or not all the time. Today it's wide open. And I'm fine with it being wide open, but I understand there's this policy to try to keep everything locked up, and it makes it difficult for good people to come in and do their jobs. I believe very strongly in pushing our kids academically. That is the purpose of school. In the United States, though, we are lucky enough to have the funding and the ability to have extracurriculars. Extracurriculars are what make our kids excited to come to school. Extracurriculars build relationships with the community. Extracurriculars, like sports and musicals, help our kids grow academically. So it's not against our normal goals. It actually helps them improve academically. We need programs like the musicals, and we need to let teachers, like the two that I'm talking about, do their jobs, and better yet, support them to do their jobs. We need to trust them and give them freedom to succeed. Let them do what they do best. The goal of our district is to provide a safe environment and educate our children. I think we all agree on that in the community. You all, administrators, I was hoping the administrators would be here. I might come again to the next meeting and repeat this. Um, I, I want the principals to get this as well. 
Administrators, teachers, and board members, you guys have enough on your hands to make sure that we have that safe environment and to educate our children. So lessen your workload by letting those teachers and volunteers that are good people trying to do good things, let them do it. I'm pretty close. You have, you have nobody else speaking, so hopefully you can listen for one more minute. I have watched the district over the years unknowingly, I think everyone wants the same thing, but unknowingly make things difficult for these good people. I personally experienced it as someone who coaches. Instead of, and these people are getting frustrated and they're pulling away and don't want to help anymore because they feel like these roadblocks are put in place. So please, let's empower people and let them help our district. Let's all remember we are on the same team. We may have different personalities and different ways of going about things, but we are in this together. Let's help each other, give our students the best experiences we can, and have fun doing it. That's all. And I have a friend now. I can bring it up to my Thank you, Anna. Thank you. We move down to the consent agenda. A motion, please, to approve the consent agenda. Tina and uh, Shelley, Dis uh, discussion. The consent agenda goes through page three. Hearing no discussion, all in favor of approving the consent agenda. Motion is carried. We are now on page three. And at this time, I would ask that uh, I have a motion to add to the agenda uh, the green sheet. John and Linda. Um, any discussion about adding to the agenda? All in favor of adding to the agenda. Motion is carried. Now a motion please uh, to um, appoint or to uh, approve the resolution um, on the green sheet, which is to appoint administrative intern. Uh, motion please, Shelley, Tina. Any discussion? Could you read it again, please? Yes, Shana? Paul. Appoint administrative intern. Appoint administrative intern. Director of Business Operations and Finance. Okay. okay? Thank you, I got it. Certainly. Any more discussion? All in favor? of appointing the uh, ad administrative intern. Motion is carried. Thank you. We now come to the time of good news on our agenda. Does anyone have good news? Linda? And the NISPA. Lobby Day is coming up on February 7th, and that's before our next meeting. So I wanted you to be able to look them over. We've been working on them for five months now, and we'll be starting the federal papers soon, and that'll be during February and March that those go in. But it gives you an idea of what priorities are and issues that are common to school districts. Uh, Paul, Paul um, Linda was uh, addressing the uh, state positions uh, for legislative um, what, um, lobby day, that, and there's a copy here, so when you return, uh, stop to the district office and you can pick up your position papers. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, will any other, anyone else? Then we move on to any board member requests, comments, or dis discussions. Hearing none, uh, it is now 
uh, necessary for us to go in back into executive session for the purpose of discussing a legal matter. Is there a motion, please, to approve that? Uh, Jason and Shelley, um, any discussion? Then all in favor of going into executive session for a legal matter. Motion is carried. Paul, we'll be saying goodbye to you, no doubt. Um, and for the rest of you, we will be returning to regular session uh, following executive session, but we will not be doing any business. All we'll be doing is uh, adjourning. So Paul, we'll say goodbye to you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Have a good evening. Good night. Okay. And we break now for executive session.